we'll hope for that. Let's hope for some goals and let's hope for some goals for Rangers as here come the two teams, both QPR and today's visitors of Premier League and Europa League Spurs are making looks to loop it back in. Skip deals with it for Tottenham. Here's Smith. Nice ball out towards Anderson, linking up with Smith again. And it's a dangerous ball towards Colley, just over the head of the attacker. But an almost moment again there for Rangers. Well, excellent play down the right hand side. Lucas Anderson combined with Paul Smith. Flashes across across the six yard box. Not sure if Ryan Colley didn't see it till too late, but he looks favourite to head it. Pace of the ball. Just evades him. But good play from QPR. Johnson. Poro linking up with Johnson again. And this is where he's dangerous as he finds Son. Oh, save. And that is a fantastic first big save from Paul Nardi in his Rangers career. Well, you're right, it is a fantastic save. Teammates go to congratulate, but they work it really, really well. And as Porra gets away, gets in behind Jay Clark, so a slides it across, and you're just expecting Son to score probably. But Paul Nardi stays big for as long as he can and makes a really good save. Paul Nardi being chased down by Son. Anderson can he get there first? He does. Frey looking to find Colley now for Rangers. Colley skipping in field and it's off the crossbar via a fantastic save from Austin. The best move so far from Rangers and so close to taking the lead with half an hour gone. Well, Lucas Anderson does great to win possession. We work it out, Michael Frey works it out to Ryan Collins. Soon as he steps inside, he's going to hit this and he gets plenty of power. This was that moment again. Yeah. As soon as he comes on this right foot, you know he's going to hit it. Hits it with plenty of power. And the goalkeeper, to be fair, makes a fine save. Just gets his hand to it, fingertips to it. Dixon Bonner. Might have just opened up for a moment. And this is well worked, as it's Powell who will deliver towards Frey, but the flag is up. A fine finish from Michael Frey. I'm sure it will still give him confidence, but unfortunately, it won't count. Yeah, well, it's really good play. Elijah Dixon, Bonner, Ryan Coley, Kenneth Powell all involved. Great ball in. I thought uh, Michael had just gone too early, which was proved right, but take nothing away from the finish. It's a brilliant volley. But disapproves this is Saar Basuma and he'll get it back again here Basuma he's in for Tottenham and he's shown his quality Paul Nardi beaten a smart move around the goalkeeper and really a fantastic move as a whole from Tottenham and with five minutes to go before half time it is Spurs who take the lead at Loftus Road well it's a goal that um, just speaks of real quality you know throughout you know and I think I said after about 16 and 17 minutes Basuma and a really good player he can play in tight situation and that goal is Premiership class you know just the way he plays a little give and go around the box just gonna see it back Picks it up here, just faces Lucas Anderson up, just sidesteps, little give and go with Kuliseski. And just when you think he's going to shoot, he just drags it to one side past Paul Nardi and slots it in. So, really well crafted goal, really well finished. So, Rangers, it's five minutes of the half to go. It'll be an interesting five minutes, is it? Finding Pedro Porro. And Johnson is going to get there first, and this could be dangerous again. Low ball in, and Son tried the cute finish round the corner. Just flashes across the face and sails on wide. Well, Brennan Johnson for the first time. 
and with Spurs they go long he flashes the ball in. I'm not sure if Steve Cook gets a little touch on this there's the back heel no he doesn't and all of a sudden things might open up for Tottenham Kulisewski goes early and Timo Werner is in here for Spurs but another fantastic save from Paul Nardi and at a key time too because it is the last action of the first 45 and Paul Nardi who initially stopped Rangers from falling behind now stops them from going two behind just before the interval to now Spurs goalkeeper Good challenge that from Santos and Anderson's got Frey in behind here for Rangers but it's an important block there from Emerson Royale I think everyone expected the referee to give a foul and uh, Anderson perhaps a, a tad late to look up and find Frey yeah, there he is Michael Frey's touch it just gets a foot away too far and he's got a stretch that's what people thought that. Jimmy Dunn has a lot of pressure on him. He almost found Frey, but all of a sudden there's space now for Kulisevsky, and that's a nice ball, and Spurs are in, but Nardi there again. Another huge save, and that might just liven things up now. That's a brilliant save, not for the first time. What's that? I make that probably his third sort of one-on-one -on -one where he stays big. It's a Super Bowl is touch, but there again stays big and that Jimmy Dunn's gonna break for the number three as he finds Anderson. Anderson's done well, and it's so close to an equalizing goal. Lyndon Dykes coming across. And that's exactly where it went across the face of goal and just on wide. Well, it's brilliant play from Relucas Anderson. Dancers twist, turns, fires the ball into the six-yard box. Lyndon Dykes is on the move. Just can't divert it into the goal. She's going to keep this alive though for Rangers. And Tala. And it's scrambled across the face and it's going to be the same again. The pressure will keep on building. Yeah, it's actually Alfie Lloyd, the 27, just comes inside on his right foot. Looking to get his shot away and it just gets a block. Good turn to take the latest set piece. And it's a dangerous looking ball as well, and it's just wide. It was Lloyd who rose highest. I'm not sure how much he saw it or if he saw it late, but when the ball comes in, you know he's he's in a great position. Was he four yards out? I'm not sure how much of the head does he get. Does he head it onto the back of someone? It's a good chance. You know, trying to get it back into the danger zone. And there was the chance from the corner. Fantastic stop. Santos keeps things alive. And this time Gunter able to claim for Tottenham. But it definitely took the substitution to get the energy going again in the second half for Rangers, which is understandable at pre-season. Yeah. But from a lot of the more senior players in the first half in particular, I'd say it was has been fairly impressive. Yeah. Solomon. Madison. Oh, Solomon's done well to flick it round the corner, and it's as dangerous from a Tottenham point of view. And it's a second goal from a Tottenham point of view. As Dane Scarlett, with his first touch since coming on, finds the back of the Rangers' net and doubles the Spurs' advantage. Well, just as we've been saying, Rangers locked them all lightly to get it back on a level peg in the other first time in the last 15 minutes. They get into our half with a bit of quality. Ball along the six yard box. And Scarlett comes in from the far side. Gets a tap in from five yards out, six yards out. Bit of pressure, and that is that in terms of the first pre season friendly back at W12. As you said before, performance well, it 
definitely had its moments for good for prolonged periods really throughout the game but in terms of the result it is Spurs who uh, are the winners as the final score in W12 is Rangers nil Spurs 2